you are learning Power BI, then this is the series for you. Start from video one to learn all the basic concepts of Power BI. This particular series had more than 150 plus videos to teach you each and every concepts around DEX, around Power Query, so that you can enhance your skills in Power BI. Subscribe to the channel. Hello and welcome to another video on beginner tutorial series and in today's video we are going to discuss two power query function that is table dot reverse rows and this is going to reverse the rows order so table dot reverse rows takes a table returns a table return the table with the row from the input table is reversed means the order of the rows is reversed and then the second function which we wanted to uh, learn today which is table dot row count it's going to give us the count of the rows in the table so we can give table and as argument and it is going to return a number to us and that number is nothing but the count of the rows a table has so let's jump out of the power bi and try to learn these functions so we go to the uh, power bi and in power bi home, under the home tab transform data transform data will take us to power query now inside the power query will create a new source home tab new blank query is going to give us new source and here uh, i'll right click and rename it and it let me rename it as table as row count first let's count rows of a table so we have any of these tables where we can count so let's take table one and table two they have different number of rows let's let's try to count them first so right click advanced editor and we say table dot row count and here we give table space one hash table one in the double quotes that's how we give the name table name and let's give that and we got three now in, in, instead of table one i can now because now once it is there now in the table dot row count only code i'm seeing here i or if i want i can make it a little bit larger if the code is larger and i go here in this line i go ahead and change this code to two and i can see i got four rows because that particular table contain four rows so in this way i can get table row count now let's uh, reverse the rows so let's understand this table uh, we'll try with again with the two tables so we have this uh, code where this is one two and three a b c one d e f one and g h f are the rows and let's try to reverse this so again new source blank query rename it table reverse right click advanced editor table dot reverse rows rows reverse rows and then we see table space one and let's look let's see what happens now we you see the order of the rows has been reversed so this is the table the order of the rows has been reversed let's try with the table two and we do that and then we say one two three four the order is reversed let's look at this table it was one two three four now, instead of table name can we give the code and check it out so i just copy paste this code of hash table from here and i go to table dot reverse here in this code i'll go and instead of this one i now i'm not opening it i can see the table code here so inside inside that one i can simply write it down and you will not see any change because uh, this already reverts but I can do here is I can make it as 5 and let me make it as 6 in between it's the reverse of the order it's not reversal of the numbers it's the order reversal this is first this is second this is third this is fourth so this is first this is now second the third has become second uh, second has become third and four, first one has become four so this is how it has happened uh, this sequence or number that has nothing to do the the number which has to do is what we have got in the original sequence when we were getting the data so this is how it works so go ahead and try these two functions out do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this video thank you Keep watching, keep asking questions in comments, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos. Thank you.